Blindness is, um, is a metaphor, I would say, but first of all, it's the author, Saramago, who I adore and is a Nobel Prize winning writer from Portugal, wrote this, I think, in the mid-90s. And the book is about, he imagined a world where what would happen if, what would happen if suddenly, one by one, people went blind. This big question in moments of crisis, how do people respond? Who are we, in a way? We're living in crazy times. I mean, look at almost every aspect of our lives and you see lots of unknown, you know, very alarming elements. I mean, with climate change and mad leaders all over the world. We have, you know, wars, we have vast numbers of refugees. I think they're very, very dark and uncertain times. And this is a play about those things. Max and I have worked on a lot of headphone shows in the past. And it was actually the opportunity to work with Juliet Stevenson on uh, a project using binaural sound was incredibly appealing. I think the amazing thing about headphones is that they do bring an audience in the binaural technology, that it brings an audience right into the action. They're, they're more than observers, they're almost participants. What binaural sound allows you to do in a, a live scenario is place an audience that may be 200, 300 feet away in the middle of the stage directly where Juliet's walking around. So it's a, it's a very strange, voyeuristic experience, unlike anything else. I'm incredibly excited to be performing at the Carré, which looks so beautiful. I mean, huge, which is a little bit daunting, but I really love big theatres, actually. For this project, we needed someone who really has the ability to be extraordinarily gentle and then really tough and extremely hard as well and she's she is that that's she's that's her she has a ferocious intelligence she has the most incredible energy and that was all legible in the sound recording you know you could hear from the sound recording how extraordinary she was but to be in the same room as her and to watch that vitality as she brings this character and this world to, to life is, is just extraordinary. 